Hello, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. My co-host Brody is in his co-host chair there. Getting ready to broadcast some dead ball baseball. Mr. Brody loves to do dead ball baseball, especially on Sunday afternoons. So we're going to keep up that tradition. So it'll be the New York Giants facing the St. Louis Cardinals again. And originally I thought we were playing, might have been playing the uh, Chicago, but that's actually the uh, other New York team, the Highlanders, are playing the White Sox. So, but looking at that, I saw that the Chicago Cubs were currently uh, in the middle of a six-game winning streak, and we're tied actually um, with them for first place. We are uh, 18 and five, and I believe they are 19 and six. So we're percentage points. Uh, I think tw 23. We got like 863, and they're like 840 or something like that. But we're Percentage points above them in first place, although record-wise, um, well, technically, games behind what we're still considered as a first-place tie. But anyway, um, so that'll prove to be a good series, especially if we're both on winning streaks. They're currently beating up on the Bean Eaters, and we're currently uh, beat, beating up on St. Louis. Um, I think both teams are in the middle of long losing streaks. But anyway, so we're on a 14-game winning streak. As it says here, it says it here somewhere. Yeah, um, doesn't say it there, maybe, but um, we are on a 14. Yeah, there is. New York has won 14 straight, and Bresnahan is in the middle of a 13 game hitting streak. And I, I believe that Bresn, um, there's one other player that is in the middle of a hitting streak, too, but I'm not sure. Um, so, anyway, so it'll be Dummy Taylor going up for the New York Giants. Again, so like I said, it's 2 and 1 with a 2.87 ERA. His first start against the Cardinals. So let's uh, look at the lineups. So Dummy Taylor, he's got a record of 2 and 1, 31 innings pitched, 26 hits allowed, 2 homers allowed, 6 walks, and 8 strikeouts. Lineup for the St. Louis Car visiting St. Louis Cardinals is as follows: Josh Clark, the right fielder, will lead it off. Batting second will be Jake Beckley, the first baseman. He is the Hall of Famer, J Jake Beckley. And there was some interesting tidbit about him. I can't remember, but maybe it was that he was in the Hall of Fame. I thought it was something else. Um, can't recall offhand though. Anyway, um, batting third will be Homer Smoot, the center fielder. Batting cleanup will be Spike Shannon, the left fielder. Second baseman Jack, J Jack Dunleavy. No relation to Jake Dunleavy, I don't believe. <laughs> right fielder will bat. I mean, the second baseman will bat fifth. He also plays right field. He's actually a very good right fielder. John Warner, the catcher, will bat fifth. Batting sixth will be the shortstop, Harry Arndt. He also plays second base and has really played second base in the last game of the series. Batting eighth will be Jimmy Burke, the third baseman. And on the mound, batting ninth will be Chappie McFarlane. Chappie. <laughs> so that's your lineup for the St. Louis Cardinals, who come in with a record of 7 and 18. Yeah, and the Cardinals have lost nine straight in these games. It's all right. So let's get this game underway. All right, so Josh Clark steps up into the box. He's hitting 364 with three homers and eight runs batted in. He scored six runs, stolen a base, and hit a double. Dummy Taylor delivers, and it's going to be a walk. So lead our runner on for the Cardinals. Jake Beckley, the first baseman, now up to the plate, hitting 265. With eight runs batted in, nine runs scored, a couple of stolen bases, has four doubles and three triples. Terrell looks in for the sign from Bresnahan. 
goes over to first. Back safely. Here's the line to bend the pitch. And it's going to be a foul ball down the first baseline. We have a early score here. It's the Senators and the Naps scoreless in the first. AL action. So here's the pitch to Beckley, an 0 1 1 count. And now a fly ball to right. It's going to be a foul ball. And Brown is unable to get to it. So 0 and 2 the count. Pittsburgh and Philadelphia are scoreless in the first. And he's going to line a single into right field. First two runners on, first and second with nobody out for Homer Smoot. Comes into the game hitting 206 with seven runs batted in. He scored 11 runs, has three stolen bases, and has three doubles and three triples. And he's going to draw, lay down a bunt successfully. Left fielder, Spike Shannon. So Clark and Beckley will move up to third and second respectively. So two runners in scoring position. For Spike Shannon, the switch hitting left fielder. Hitting 286 with nine runs batted in. Has scored nine runs and has 10 stolen bases on base percentage of 363. One double and a triple. There he is, the wind up in the pitch for from Taylor. Ball one missed high. 2 0 the count. In there. Swing and a miss, two and one. Another swing and a miss, so the count evens at two. Whole count now. Fouls went back. He's gonna hit a dribble to the Taylor. He'll throw over to first, we'll the runner back. Jack Dunleavy. So two outs now. So in AL action, it's the Boston. Pilgrims? <laughs> Not the Pilgrims. Ah, uh, man, I forgot again. That Boston team. <laughs> Patriots. No, not the Patriots. I can't remember. Mr. Brody will be on looking that up. Mr. Brody informs the Boston Americans. That's right. I knew it was some kind of patriotic thing. So the Boston Americans and the Detroit Tigers are currently scoreless in the second. Pitch to Dunleavy. Strike one called. Swing and a miss. 0-2 the count. Ball outside, 1-2. It's going to be a foul ball. Oh, it's going to be fair. The umpire says it's fair. No runs. One hit. No errors. After one half inning. Devlin makes the play. Zero. New York coming to bat. Pitching for St. Louis, Chappie, McFarland. Leading off for New York, center fielder, Mike Donlin. Alright, so center fielder Mike Donlin will lead it off for the New York Giants. Batting second will be Sam Mertes, the left fielder. Batting third will be Roger Bresnahan, the catcher. Batting cleanup, the first baseman, Dan McGann. Right fielder, George Brown, bats fifth. Art Devil in the third baseman will bat sixth. Bill Dowell in the shortstop bat seventh. The second baseman, Gilbert, will bat eighth. Billy Gilbert. And on the mound, bat ninth will be Dummy Taylor. So McFarlane comes into the game for the Cardinals with a 392 ERA, a record of 1 and 4. So he's had a rough time of it. He's 8 and 18 on the actual season. 43 innings pitch, 53 hits, one home run, 13 walks, and 5 Ks. So back then, a 392 ERA was similar to probably like an ERA over 5. So Donlin sticks up, steps up to the plate. He's hitting 371 with a homer and 15 runs bat in. Has scored 23 runs. 436 on base percentage. 
three stolen bases, four doubles, and four triples. Carlin looks in for the sign from Warner. Here's the windup and the pitch. Don't know where the second baseman is going on that one. Left fielder, Sam Meritas. Dunleavy totally missed that one. And it'll be a leadoff single for Donlin. Throws it back in. So Sam Merte is up now, hitting 232 with a home run, nine runs bet in. I believe that home run was an inside the park home run. Has scored 14 runs, five stolen bases, four doubles, and two triples. So do we want to do a little hit run here? Or? I don't think we want to test the arm. He has an arm of eight, so we're not going to test that. Now we're just going to hit swing away. Ball one. It's going to be a foul ball down the third baseline. So count evens at one. And it's going to be a fly ball to right. Brown reaches out, ranges over and makes the catch. Catcher. Donlin Roger. back to first. Bresnahan. So that'll bring up Roger Bresnahan, who's in the middle of a 13 game hitting streak. He's hitting 407 with 11 runs batted in, 21 runs scored. Four doubles and two triples. On base percentage of 547. So he's been on fire. And this time he's going to get under one though and pop it up to first. First baseman. Beckley will Dan. range over and make the catch. So Dan McGann up now. Hitting 306 with 24 runs batted in. 11 runs scored, four, tri four stolen bases, two doubles, and five triples. I think we're going to try a steal here. He's off with the pitch, and he's out. <laughs> one hit, no errors. After one complete, St. Louis 0, New York 0. Catcher, John Warner. So the Giants try to push the envelope there, and catcher Warner throws him out so Warner will lead it off here in the top of the second 250 hitter with one RBI and only 44 at bats four runs scored 353 on base percentage and he's gonna fly out to right Mert days will come racing in and make the catch so Harry Arndt up now, 237 average with seven runs batted in, has nine runs scored, two stolen bases. So Terrell looks in for the sign from Bresnahan. Here's the wind up in the pitch, and he's going to fly out to left a little bit deeper this time. And Murtis will make the second catch of the inning, second out of the inning, and second catch. So Cincinnati leads Brooklyn by a score of 1-0 in the second. That'll bring up Jimmy Burke, third baseman. Hitting 241 with 10 runs batted in, 6 runs scored, a stolen base, and 4 doubles. And it's going to be a foul ball down the first baseline. And he's going to fly out to left as Mertes will make all three putouts. No errors. After one and a half, St. Louis zero, New York zero. That ties a record held by many. <laughs> At least in the outfield, anyway. So, all right. So it'll be top of the uh, number four hitter, McGann. Up. He was up when Donlin was thrown out trying to steal and he'll hit a fly ball to center smooth ranges over and makes the catch and it looks like the bean eaters that's the, that's the bean eater one let's check this out real quick yeah 
Mets, the Bean Eaters, with a 3 0 lead over the Chicago Cubs. Brown 4 0 going against Willis 0 5. So that's a shocker there. I might as well go over the scores here. Cincinnati 1, Brooklyn nothing. In the bottom of the second. Pittsburgh 1, Philadelphia nothing in top of the second. Top of the second, Cleveland leads Washington 1 0. And Detroit leads Boston 1 0 in American League action in the bottom of the second. So next up will be George Brown. He just had a hitting streak snap recently. 299 hitter with Homer and 17 runs batted in, 13 runs scored, two stolen bases, and four triples. He's going to pop one up to down the left field line. Third baseman Burke gives chase, but it's into the stands. So two and two count now on Brown. And he hit a liner straight right to Breckley. We'll make the catch for the second out. Gonna bring up Art Devlin, 264 hitter with 14 runs batted in. He scored 14 runs, has two stolen bases with two doubles and two triples. He'll hit a chopper to third base. Burke's up with it. And he might the play for the final out. St. Louis 0, New York 0. Pitcher, Chappie, McFarland. So no score going to the top of the third. Pitcher McFarlane will lead it off for the Cardinals. Hitting 125 with two runs batted in. Has scored four runs and has a triple. And he strikes him out. First strikeout of the day for Taylor. Park up now. And a great play by Devlin. Barehanded that one and threw threw him out. Clark's now 0 for 2. That'll bring up Beck, Jake Beckley, who lined a single the first time he was up. And he's going to have one drop in there and left. So he's 2 for 2 on the day. Taylor checks on him at first. Let me try one more time. Ooh, that helped to increase his stealing percentage. There you go. Back down to 22%. <laughs> Play with that a little bit sometimes. I didn't even realize that until our Red Sox fan did, uh, was doing that in the um, Greatest Teams Tournament we have going on on L Red Sox Fans Channel. We've played just one game so far between the Cincinnati, 76 Cincinnati Reds and the 96 Braves. Um, I'm sure he'll be doing more this starting this week, later in the week. Um, so check out that on Al Red Sox fan channel. Um, he often comments on my video, well, always comments on my videos. So uh, if you'd like to check out his channel, just click on his name below. Thank you, Mr. Brody, and I thank him for his support. It's a great channel. There's a lot of live broadcasts. So Homer smoothed up now. He sacrificed his first time up successfully. Time he'll hit away. Paints the inside corner. Strike one. One and one the count. And it's going to be a liner to short. Dallin will make the catch. St. Louis zero, New York zero. Shortstop, Bill Dallin. And he'll lead it off to start the bottom of the third. So the Naps are ahead of the center. is 2-0 now in the second. If that one steps it up to the plate. He's a 241 hitter with a homer and 20 runs batted in. Has a double and three triples. 16 runs scored and two stolen bases. And he hits this one to center. A smoother range over and make the catch. One down now in the giant second, a giant third. Brings up Billy Gilbert. Second baseman's hitting 235 with five runs batted in. He has nine runs scored with three doubles. 
and it'll be a strikeout. Pitcher, dummy. It'll get away from Warner. He'll throw over to first. In time. So two down now for Taylor. He's got two hits and ten at bats with two runs batted in. And he'll line one to the second baseman. We'll make an awesome play on that. No errors. After three complete. St. Louis zero. New York zero. And after three full, there's no score. Detroit leads Boston one nothing in the fourth. So the Cardinals will send up Shannon, Dunleavy, and Warner to face Taylor. Taylor will look in for the sign. Bresnan gives him one. He has the line up in the pitch. It's going to be a roll to Gilbert at second. He'll throw over to McGann. But it's not going to be in time. As the throw pulls him off the bag. So it's going to be an error on Gilbert on the throw. Definitely a threat to steal. Keep an eye on him. Taylor will throw over to first. He's back safely. So Dunleavy will come up now. RBI, well not an RBI opportunity yet, but he grounded the third his first time up and Shannon has 10 steals. As the computer has tell, told us that. And it's going to be a bunt. That'll move Shannon up to second as this bunt is successful. So run in scoring position now for the Cardinals. I'm going to bring up the catcher, Warner. Wide to left his first time up. Ball one. And he'll fly to right. Brown is there. And nope, looks like it's going to be a foul ball. So it's one and one to count. Cleveland leads, yes, Cleveland leads Washington now. Cleveland needs Washington now 5 0. So that'll bring up. So Warner now is a 1 and 2 count. He's going to fly to center. Don will make the catch as the throw comes in for some reason to not the second, but over to Gilbert. Shannon holds. Definitely would have probably made it if. Uh, he would have known the throw was coming into Gilbert. So as the Beaniers now increase, they'll lead a four to nothing over the Cubs in the fourth. Keep an eye on that one. If we can get a win today. That'll give us a one game lead on the Cubs. Mr. Brody turns around there and gets himself comfortable. Harry Arndt up now. Wide to left his first time up. Ball one low. We're going to keep an eye on it. was only 14%. Now it's up to 73%. So we're going to try and pick up. Until it spins around. Shannon's back safely. There we go. Now it's back to 17%. So one and another count to Arndt. Strike one. Off here. Really lower it that much, but Cincinnati and Brooklyn are now tied in the fourth at one. So one and one the count aren't still. One and two the count. Count evens at two. It's gonna be a liner to dial and will make the catch. One error after three and a half. Still scoreless. Still score us at the three and a half. Thank you, computer guy. I shut that off. Why is that showing me there? Hmm. Alright, Donlin up now, one for one. He's thrown out trying to steal. He's single. And he's gonna get under one here, pop it up to first. Beckley will make the catch for out number one. Sam Merte is up now. Wide to deep right his first time up. And he's going to hit a single up the middle. So a one out single for Mertes. He's definitely a stealing threat here, but we're going to be careful with. 
think we might go with a hit and run with Bresnahan here. Let's try a hit and run. Hit and run is on. It's going to be a dribble at a second. I mean, to short. We'll get the runner over on the field of choice. But Bresnahan is retired. Mertes moves up to second. This time again is in scoring position for Mertes is in scoring position for McGann. Ball one inside. Count evens at one. And it's going to be a single up the middle. And McGann will have himself a double, an RBI double. He'll score Mertes and the Giants take a one nothing lead. That'll bring up George Brown. He lined the first his first time up. See if they can get, get another run across here in the fourth. Gonna pop it up behind the plate. But it's going to be out of play. Morton does not have a play on it. It's going to be a single past the first baseman. By 81% chance, we're going to go for it, says McGrath. Yeah, let's try that too. Throw comes in the home. And Brown will move up to second on the throw, so Brown has himself an RBI single. Scoring McGann, and it's now a 2-0 giant lead. Pittsburgh leads Philadelphia 3-1 in the fourth. And bring up Art Devlin, grounded the third his first time up. And he's going to line a single into right, and we're going to send Brown home. We're going to send Devlin to second again. Throw comes to the plate. He's safe. And Devlin will move in scoring position. So the exact, almost the exact same play as last time. It's now a 3-0 lead for the Giants. That so brings up Bill Dowling. Wide to deep right his first time up. He's going to hit one to right. And this one is going to go off the wall. So Dowling has himself a double. And that'll bring home Devlin. So they continue to move up two bases at a time. And it's a 4 nothing lead. All this happening with two down. So that'll bring up Gilbert. He's 0 for 1. Can he do it too? He struck out in the first. Foul ball. Count evens at 1. 2 and 1 the count. Three and one the count now. And he's going to hit a single to left. And yeah, we're sending him home. I'll be at over 50%. We're going to send the other runner. Uh, no. I think the throw is going to come home anyway, so I'm going to try to send him. Oh. And he's going to be safe. He gets in there with a 48% chance. And it's not cut off this time. Wow. And it's a 5 nothing lead now. Detroit has increased the lead over Boston 2 0 in American League action. It's a 5 0 lead now. Wow. All five runs scored in this inning. I think, believe all with two out. So that'll bring up the pitcher, Taylor. Let's see what he can do. See if he can join the hit parade here. Strike one. Just blow the belt. And he's going to hit one here, but this one's going to stay up. Five runs on and that'll be it. And no errors. After four complete, St. Louis 0. New York 5. So a 5 nothing lead now for the Giants over the Cardinals after 4 full. And Chicago, the Cubs have put a 1 spot up on the board. It's 4 to 1 now in the 5th. In favor of the Bean Eaters. And it's going to be a dribbler to first. Dallin's up with it over to Taylor. I mean, McGann's up with it over to Taylor. And there's 1 out here in the St. Louis 5th. Taylor now has himself a comfortable 5 0 lead. He's going to try to throw strikes. Pitcher McFarland up now. Struck out his first time up. And he'll strike out again. But Taylor has two strikeouts, both of them on the pitcher. Going to bring up Clark, who's 0 for 1. Gonna get his first hit. Rounds the bag, decides to hold it first. 
That'll bring up Beckley is two for two with two singles. Chase the pitch out of the zone there for strike one. Count evens at one. Hit the second. They go over to first. No runs. And that'll retire one. the side. No errors. After four and a half, St. Louis zero, New York five. So the Cardinals trail by five going into the bottom of the fifth. Donlin will lead it off. One for two. And he's going to hit one over the head of the second baseman. Throw himself a leadoff single here in this fifth. We have Sam Mertes, one for two. And he'll line a single. Donlin wisely holds at second. The runners on first and second for Bresnahan still looking to extend his hitting streak. We'll just hit away. Strike one. Chase one out of the zone there. And he's going to hit one to third over to second for one. We just get the middle man, so field this choice. So Bresnahan does not extend his hitting streak. The runners at the corners with a one down from again. He started off the doubles, second base per the IBI parade. Swing and a miss, strike one. And that went up the middle. That'll bring in the run. Donlin scores. It's a six nothing lead now for the Giants. They've broken it pretty much wide open. Runners on first and second for Brown, he's one for two. Singled his first time up. Has an RBI. Second time up. And he's going to fly out to right as Smoot ranges to his right to make the catch for the second out. Art Devlin up now. He singled and moved to second on the throw home. With an RBI. Oh, and this one's going to be an error on. Arndt, the shortstop, as he cannot handle that one. He's going to be given an error. The bases are loaded now with two down. For Dahlin, is one for two. Count evens at one. He has an R RBI double also. Sorry, count goes low in two. He's going to pop one up to, looks like, third here. Burke is under it and makes the catch. Three hits, one error. After five complete, St. Louis zero, New York six. So it looks like the Bean Eaters have got that run back, and it's now a 5 1 Bean Eaters lead over the Cubs in the sixth. So Taylor takes the hill again in the sixth there, now with a six run, nothing lead. It's up to 84 pitches. Brings up Smoot, who's 0 for 1. He's going to fly to left. Mertes ranges back and he'll make the catch. One down for Spike Shannon. Grounded to the pitcher and grounded to second. Gilbert's unable to handle that one. It's going to be an error on Gilbert. Shannon will reach. Throw it first. Back safely. So Dunleavy up now, 0 for 1. Ball 1. Count evens at 1. It's going to be a single, just bounce a high hop over Gilbert's head. So runners on first and second with 1 down. A Warner who's 0 for 2, the catcher. We're going to miss strike one. And he'll pop one up to center. Dominant ranges over and makes the catch. Runners have to hold. So two outs now. Runners on first and second for Arndt. High and inside. Ball one. Count evens at one. He's going to pop one up down the left field line. Devlin gives a chase, but it's into the stands. 
So one and two the count. Two and two. I'm just gonna pop one up till it looks like short. Dallin should have a play in this one and he'll make the catch. One hit. One error. After five and a half. St. Louis zero. New York six. So after five and a half, it's a six still a six nothing lead for the Giants. So that'll bring up Gilbert, Billy Gilbert's one for two. With an RBI. And he's gonna fly ball to left, and Shannon barely has to move. The first out of the sixth. Pitcher Tail is up now, he's all for two. And oh one is short. And now he's 0 for 3. Mike Donlin's 2 for 3 now. Got himself a couple of singles. That one is second. No runs. And that'll do it. No errors. After 6 complete. St. Louis 0. New York 6. Let's see if our bullpen is the same. Here's Clyde Elliott. Taylor appears strong, he says. And the Cubs are coming back against the Bean Eaters. It's now a 5-3 Bean Eater lead in the sixth. Keep an eye on that one. So Burke, the third baseman, will lead it off. He's 0 for 2. And he gets his first hit of the day. Throw him right back to the pitcher. So the leadoff man is on for the Cardinals here in the seventh. Taylor looks over, but does not throw. McFarland up. Here's the line to bend the pitch. Ball one. McFarland is surprisingly still in there. Double check here. Yeah, and those send the computer control. And it's going to be a wild pitch in the dirt. Yep. Burke will move up to the scoring position. Count is 2-0 now on McFarland. In there, 2-1. And, and it's going to be come back to the pitcher. Both the runner back, throws over to McGann. One down. Cleveland has opened up their lead against the Senators, now 9-1 in the fifth. Terrell up to 105 pitches. Runner on second with one down. Clark up now, one for two. Gonna pop one up behind the plate. Looks like Bresnian's gonna have a play on this one. And he'll make the catch. So two down now. Beckley's up now, two for three. See if he can deliver the run. And get the Cardinals on the board. Two and the count, so a good hitter's count. Three and out. Let's get aggressive here. And he's gonna pop one up. Art Devlin. He'll drift over and make the catch. One hit, no errors. After six and a half, St. Louis zero, New York six. So we head to the bottom of the seventh, seventh inning stretch time. It'll be Mertes, Bresnahan, and McGann. Mertes two for three on the day. He's going to fly one to right. But Clark is there to make the catch for the first out. Maybe Bresnahan's the last chance here to increase his hitting streak. Continue it. It's 0 for 3 on the day. Popped the first in the first. Grounded the short in the fourth. And grounded the third in the fifth. McFarlane looks in for the sign from Warner. He has the wind up in the pitch. Foul tip. Off the mask of Warner. But he's okay though. And he's going to fly one to left, and this one is, oh, it's a foul ball, just foul. So one and one the count, I mean, oh and two the count. And he's going to line out to Clark for the second out. Thought that was going to get down, but it stayed up. So that may be Bresnahan's last try, unless we can get, get a rally going here. So McGann up now, two for three. And he'll fly out to left. And that'll be it. Bottom of the seventh. After seven, 
St. Louis 0, New York 6. So, Resnian's going to have increased that hitting streak. They're going to have to get a rally going in the 8th, score a couple runs, give them a chance to be up. So Smoot will lead it off. Taylor looks strong. Looks in for the sign from Bresnahan. Smoot's over two on the day. Here's the windup and the pitch. Yeah, that's going to be a base hit to right. The lead off single for Smoot. Throw it over to keep honest. It's down to 43%. Let's try it one more time. Feels a little bit closer now. Shannon 0 for 3 on the day. Swing and a miss, strike 1. 0 and 2 the count. 1 and 2. Count even at 2. And he strikes him out. So just the third K of the day for Taylor. Moving up Dunleavy is 1 for 2. Ball 1. And it's going to be a base hit to left. This one's going to go all the way to the wall. And it's going to be a triple for Dunleavy. As Shannon comes in, no, Swoop comes in to score. And it's going to be a, and the Cardinals are on the board now. It's 6-1. to one. So Check out Taylor, see how he's doing. He's not tired. We're going to get him up in the bullpen just in case. So Warner up now, 0 for 3. Ball 1. 2 and 0 the count. In there for strike 1 at the knees. That's going to be a base hit just past McGann, and that'll bring home the second run. So Warner not a threat to steal. Aren't up now. He's 0 for 3 on the day. He's going to pop one up behind the plate, and Resnahan will not have a play as he watches it go into the stands. 0-1 so the count. And it looks like it was, I'm not sure if that was the Bean Eaters, or I mean the uh, Cubs or the White Sox that were ahead there. I think it might have been the Cubs, but we'll see. They might have taken the lead against the Bean Eaters, hapless Bean Eaters. Detroit now has a 43 lead over Boston Americans. 1-1 so one one the count on Arndt. And he's going to fly out to Brown and right. We'll make the catch. Warner retreats back to first. So two down now for Burke. He's one for three on the day. Wave that that one. Strike one. And he's going to pop this one up. Dallin has a beat on it, and he'll make the catch. The side. Three hits, no errors. After seven and a half, St. Louis two, New York six. So Brooklyn leads Cincinnati five to four in the seventh. So Brown, it'll be Brown, Devlin, and Dallin up now, hoping to get a rally going to give Bresnahan another shot at his hitting streak, as he is the last hitting streak left on of any significance on the uh, Giants. And he laces the base hit, so all is not lost yet for Bresnahan. Brown on the leadoff single. Yep. The, only real hitting, the only real streak that counts, though, is the winning streak, so hopefully they can increase the 15 games with a victory and hold on to this lead. So it'd be nice if we can add a little bit more onto this for a couple of reasons. So Devlin up now, one for three. Ball one. Count evens at one. Two and one the count. And he's going to hit a fly ball to center. And Smoot is over to make the catch. Yeah, so I believe that is the Chicago and the Bean Eaters. So the hapless Bean Eaters cannot hold the lead. And it's seven to five Cubs looking to extend their hitting streak to seven games. So the Bean Eaters are... Looks like they might blow another one. So Dallin up now, one for three. One down and Brown at first. He'll hit a liner to Iron. He'll make the catch. So 
two down now for Gilbert. One to three. Ball one. And he'll line a base hit to right. And Brown will make it all the way to third. The run is at the corners now for tail of the pitcher. I think we're going to pull him now. Let's see, who's going to get her at back here? So here we go. Crown's a righty. Now we'll give our favorite Sammy Strang in here. Opening Strang. Hitting for New York. Sammy Strang. Strang comes in. He's hitting 381 so far in the season, 8 hits and 21 at bats, a home run and 10 runs batted in, double and a triple, 7 runs scored, and a 519 on base percentage. So he's been hot off the bench this year, and we're given a chance to start. So Strang up now, runners at the corners with 2 down, ball 1 outside, 2 and another count. Take one here. Three and out. Take another one. Strike one. We'll take one more. Count full now. And he's going to hit a fly ball to center, and that's good. Two hits, no errors. We played eight complete. St. Louis two, New York six. So it looks like Bresnahan is going to have his hitting streak snapped at 13 games, unless the Cardinals can come back and score at least four. Let's see, so then Elliott's going to come in and pitch. Yeah. The question is, can let's see, let's check Brown's defense. Brown is still our best bet, right? Though he's going to try to replace him as he is susceptible to errors. Is still our best best bet out there. Unless I place, I could place Bresnahan in right. He's got a little bit better feel, better arm. Yeah, I think I want to make a little switch here. So let's see here. Let's do. Uh, let's bring in him as a pitcher. Pitching for New York, Claude Elliott. I'm gonna do a little switch here. I'm gonna bring in. Bresnahan, Brown, Bresnahan's so, gonna go, he's got a little bit less range, but he's got a much better arm, so I'm gonna put in a better fielding percentage, so I'm put him in right, and I'm gonna bring in, bar him into catch. Alright, there you go. Bar him is the new catcher. Rest the hands in right. All right, so Elliott's on the mound. Two and one record, a 5.40 ERA, 15 innings pitched, 17 hits, one home run, and seven walks. Opponents are hitting 279 against them. So they must be, they got a pinch hit from a crown, I would think. They do not. Surprisingly, and it's going to be an error on Gilbert. So I'm surprised. I don't know what the computer's thinking there. Maybe their bench is really bad. So I'm to bring up Clark with the runner on first and nobody out. It must be pinch hitting. Pinch running from what I would think. No, they don't. So it's a ball high and inside. Two and another count. Three and all the count. He's gonna fly to right, and it's gonna go foul. This present hand gives chase, and be over to Devlin. He'll go the short way to get the lead runner. So field his choice. Clark will reach first. So Beckley's up now, two for four, a couple of singles. 
Oh, actually, what happened there? Oh, no. So Devlin gives a bad throw, pulls him off the bag, and he runners on first and second with nobody out. So hold the phones there. Back to two for four. Ball one. Two another count. Ah, it's going to be a single to right, so that'll load the bases and bring the tying run up. Dean Eaters uh, continue to trail the Cubs by a score of 7 to 5 in the 8th. So bases are loaded now for Smoot, who's 1 for 3. Are you going to go second for one? No! Devlin's charged for his second error of the inning. Wow! Unbelievable. The run comes across, so the bases are reloaded, and it's 6 to 3 now. That was a tailor made double play there. Devlin is really a. Uh, I don't know what he's doing now. He's not paying attention. <laughs> Strike one call. This time, darlin has got it. No, we're not going to throw home. Double play, guys. Come on. Over to second horn. Back to first. Double play. Sure-handed Dowling will make the double play. So there'll be two down now. One run comes across, and it's a 6-4 to four game now. Tying run comes to the plate now. And Dunleavy is two for three. They just need one more out now. Strike one. One and one to count. One and two. This should do it. Dallin over to McGann, and that'll do it. So the Giants hold on to beat the St. Louis Cardinals and extend their hitting streak to. 15 games. Unfortunately, Bresnahan's hitting streak gets snapped at 13. But like we said, the more important one. Oops. We have a blank box score there. Don't know what's going on there. Give it a second to load. It takes a second. But the Giants are victorious with their fifth. I mean, with their uh, 15th win in a row. The final there we go. Polo Browns, New York 6, St. Louis 4. New York has won 15 in a row. St. Louis is on a 10-game losing streak. Dummy Taylor is the winner. He is now 3-1. Chappie McFarland is the loser. He is now 1-5. Time of the game, 1 hour, 55 minutes. So that's it. Again gets the MVP. Taylor gets the win three and one. McFarland goes to one and five. And now the Cardinals are on a ten game losing streak also. Alright, let's check our box scores here. So Taylor gets the win, eight innings pitch, eight hits allowed, two runs, both of them earned. Walk in three strikeouts, and he did not have good stuff, but he manages to pitch a great game nonetheless. Elliot was shaky coming out of the pen, definitely allowed two runs, but we were both unearned because of the two errors by Devlin, third baseman. McFarland falls to one and five, eight innings pitched, 12 hits allowed, six runs, all of them earned, just one K. Falls to one and five. Donlin was two for four with a run scored. Mertes two for four also with a run scored. McGann was two for four with a run scored and a couple of runs batted in. Brown two for four with their RBI and a run scored. Devlin one for four, same thing. Donlin one for four, same thing. Gilbert two for four with an RBI. And for the Cardinals, Clark was 1 for 4, the run scored. Beckley, the Hall of Famer, was 3 for 5. Smoot was 1 for 4, the run scored. Dunleavy, 2 for 4, the run scored. Warner, 1 for 4. Burke, 1 for 4. And McFarlane, the pitcher, was 0 for 4, but did score a run. So that's it. Let's check out. 
highlights here. So Devlin commits two errors at third for doubled his error total. Gilbert, I didn't even realize Gilbert had that many errors in the game, but Gilbert commits three errors for nine. Wow, so the Giants hold on despite five errors in their shaky defense there. So I guess when things are going good, they'll be overcome just about anything. Great plays by Dunleavy and, Den and Devlin. St. Louis left 10 on base, we left 6. Score there. Here's that play game recap. Here's that play by play. That. that is it. So, Alright, so thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. When we'll see you in the next video when the Giants try to go for 16 in a row. So take care and God bless. Bye bye.